good win for us against a good team. I mean, Chicago has been playing extremely well. Um, I am, you know, I'm proud. I'm proud of the effort that we gave that we gave today because I respect Chicago, like what they've been doing so far and how they've been playing. Um, I really like the way that they've been playing. So this is just a really good win for us to get at home um, in front of our fans. Um, so yeah, I like our effort today. Questions? Haley, you looked so confident out there today. You know, what, what was going well? Um, I think a lot was going well. I think my teammates and my coaches have done a really great job of staying on me about just like playing relaxed and not being so tense out there. So today I really just tried to relax. So it's really shout out to them for staying on me with that. Okay, yeah. Nia, your defense continues to spark a team. We always get good runs, you get a block, and just the effort. Talk about what your defense brings to the table for this team. That's my number one role, so I just pay a lot of attention on that. So whatever my need, my team needs to do, I just try to do it and be there and communicate. You have more blocks tonight than you had all season last year. You know, <laughs> what's what's with the block party? What's happening? Where have you been adding that to your game? Um, I've always been a shot blocker. I just think, yeah, it's just it's part of my game. Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, as a follow up too, um, you know, obviously missing a lot of the year last year. How have you felt just being able to get back, be, be yourself again on the court? I feel really good. So I'm glad you know my health is there, and then I could just play with my teammates. It's really fun. Coach, you talked about the attention to detail, and yeah. when this guy got it down to 11, you guys had a couple stops and then literally went on a run, and then had him down by 18. What was the message late in that third quarter in order to be able to close out like that? Just to continue to do the things that we were doing, um, paying attention to the details and reminding them that they matter. Um, I think we, we have to be a team that always focuses on those things um, <clears throat> because that's just how you win games. You know what I mean? Like, when, especially when when you're in tough games, and we're going to be in tough games all season. This league is tough. This game, this league is hard. And so the team that can focus on the details and execute the details um, at a high level will put themselves in a good position to win basketball games. Coach, last game you mentioned pace. Tonight you guys had 21 fast break points. Yeah. Pushing the pace, was that something you like to see throughout the whole game? I like our pace. I think our pace has been pretty good this season, to be honest with you. Um, we talk a lot about having pace within the half court too, not just in transition. So I'm glad that we had that many points in transition, but I really liked our pace in half court. Like we didn't just stand and watch each other. Um, we went into a lot of double actions, which opened the floor up um, really well for us today. Kind of piggybacking off that with uh, with Alicia Gray, obviously she had the, the, the big play falling out of bounds to get the ball back in. Yeah. Um, it feels like her ability to push the ball in transition has really sparked things for you guys in early offense. I was wondering if you could kind of highlight that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, Alicia's a really good player. We're lucky to have somebody like her. Um, she definitely elevates, elevates our offensive side um, for sure. So having somebody else who can push the pace and bring the ball and be able to be a good decision maker with the ball in their hands really matters within our offense. Because um, our offense, we have to have um, playmakers on the floor at all times. Um, so not just for themselves, but also for others. So Leash definitely brings that um, aspect to the to the game for us. And coach, going back to the inside play at both ends, defensive rebounding, you edged them a little bit and points in the paint outdid them 42 to 28. Yeah. How important was it for you guys to take advantage knowing that you had sort of that advantage inside? I mean, we have to make the game easier for ourselves, and that was an opportunity. And that's going to change from game to game, right? It'll change from game to game. But for this particular game, it was something that could help us make the game easier. So anytime we can get those paint touches, not just for scores, but just to suck the defense in, just to put pressure pressure on the defense because the ball is going inside and outside. Because she Cheyenne's a really good playmaker. Like, we have really good playmakers at that position. So for the ball to come in and then also come back out, like, it helps, you know? Coach, the patience of Ryan to let the game come to her. She finished yeah. strong. Just talk about how she continues to just let the game come to her. She doesn't panic. I mean, it's just who Ryan is. You know what I mean? She's not somebody, I mean, you guys saw as a rookie, she's not somebody who gets really rattled by things. Frust frustrated, yes, of course, like any other player. You know what I mean? But she, that's her temperament in general is to allow things to come and take opportunities that um, that fit who she is as a basketball player. So we need her to continue to do that. Um, and if she's not making shots, she can still impact the game in other ways, which she's been doing, um, I think, extremely well this year. Even when she's not making shots, she's rebounding the basketball. She's getting assists. She's using her um, 
her talent to, to help others and to open things up for the rest of us. Coach, with D-Rob out, uh, what are you liking from Haley at the point guard position? Well, I liked a lot tonight. <laughs> um, good pace. Um, but the biggest thing is just she played with confidence. She was a lot more relaxed, um, played with confidence, didn't let didn't let anything rattle rattle her, didn't let their pressure rattle her, and took opportunities that, you know, fit her and her skill set. Um, and so that's what we like. That's what exactly what we, we thought, you know, she can do and bring to this team. And so I'm happy to see that. Now consistency is the key. Coach, any update on AD's health? I know in training camp you said that it wasn't up to him that their health wasn't fully there. Yeah, same, AD is still, you know, still working, still working through things. Um, but, you know, she, uh, they're still contributing in a great way for us as well. So we're happy with where AD is. Haley, how has it been for you adjusting defensively in the WNBA? <laughs> um, <laughs> I think it's, 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 a lot of it comes from the pace. So everybody's bigger, stronger, faster, and more skilled. So it's just adjusting to that. And so T talks to me a lot about just guarding the ball first. Um, I think I'm not used to like pressuring. So now I'm learning to do that and have it be second nature. So I'm still working on it, but I think it's trending in the right direction. How do you feel coming up with the block and then actually having it be successful in the challenge? It was great. I didn't know what was happening. And they, well, they called a foul and I was like, oh, whatever. And then she challenged it and then we got it. And it was great. <laughs> you know, as a second thing too, I I think it was in the third quarter. Um, there was a ball reversal. It ended up being like I think there was a timeout or or, or, or something. But you you pointed to Haley, called out. You know, like I think you were like just showing like I, this is super not helpful doing this. Yeah, because um, I have no idea what you're talking yeah. about. Right? Yeah, no, like, <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's all right, um, Mark. But no, I think you were like saying you wanted ball fakes, or something like that. I was wondering if you. Oh, I told like her that. to move the ball. Yeah. she was dribbling too much. Okay. Right? right, and that's when. Not just her, but all of us. We get our offense gets in trouble when one person is just standing there dribbling too much. Um, she had went from one side to the other side to the other side. Then it got tipped out. Like at that point, you just need to move the ball. You're not getting anywhere. You're not doing anything. Move the ball. Appreciate it. We got yeah, it. One, we got one it. One of the things that coach talked about was communication, and I could see the more the game went on, the better the communication got as a veteran. You know, how do you kind of step back and see what this team is able to do as you guys begin to gel and communicate better? Yeah, the more we talk, it's just, it's a lot easier. So I think, you know, more games we get in, the we understand like what our game plan is and just making sure that we communicate at a high level and making sure that we can communicate fast enough so that people can listen to us so that we can get there. So it was a lot better today and I just hope that we continue. For the end, Haley, I was hoping you'd just talk a little bit about Cheyenne, you know, not only the point, but just always who she is to this team and kind of what she adds. She is a huge threat. Um, um, on our team so we I just love the energy that she brings and like she is unstoppable down like low so every time we get her the ball great things happen so I love having her on my team. I, yeah I second that I think CP is just a beast um, offensively and defensively so it's somebody that you want to have on your team and not have to play against. Nia, sports on the top 10, uh, <laughs> teammates getting your little, you know, mm -hmm. little nickname or anything? Um, I haven't heard anything yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go to Zoom for a couple questions. Um, Emmanuel Blades, we'll start with you. Hey, Coach, the number that jumped off the board for me tonight was nine turnovers. You talk about controlling the ball and less than turnovers. I was, how were you about tonight's turnover? Nine is a good number to have for an entire game. Oh, yeah, it's a great number. Um, if we can stay there all year, I'll be ecstatic. <laughs> um, especially because Chicago is a, is a pretty good um, defensive team in terms of their aggressiveness and their pressure. And, you know, with Dana Evans and Ka, they just put so much pressure um, on the ball and their post players denying reversals and different things like that. So for us to, again, that's an attention to detail um, thing that we've been talking about a lot in terms of just taking care of the ball, um, value in possession so that we can get extra opportunities um, to, to score the basketball. Uh, next question will go to Hunter Cruz from the next. Go ahead, Hunter. Um, question for Coach. I want to ask about that initial set to open the game where you were able to get use Ryan as a screener, um, use her as a cutter. You were also able to get a uh, move Nia up to the elbow um, and get, use that to get, um, to get Alicia downhill. Can you just talk about your approach to those opening sets and how that like kind of dictates um, 
the rhythm as the game goes on? Uh, we just try to base it upon our opponent. Um, Chicago being an aggressive um, team and liking to be the aggressor, we tried to get some backdoor cuts with Ryan trying to go backdoor. And then um, Leash coming off fast, um, off a handoff going to our left. So really it's just a matter of who we're playing and how defensively they like to, you know, like to play. So we just try to adjust based, based upon that. Any time for one more in the room. Keeping Kalia Copper to two points uh, throughout the whole first half, you know, just can you talk about specifically the defensive effort on her? Um, I mean, Kai is such a good player. You know what I mean? Like our job is to make make it tough, make them do things that they don't want to do. And I think we did a really good job of understanding her personnel today and just making things really, really tough, not making anything easy, not giving her um, open lanes to be able to attack our defense. Um, and so, you know, you just try to make it tough. And I think we just, we made it a little bit tough tonight.